December 21st and outside the High Court in Dublin where an injunction is being sought to evict Apollo House. Apollo House is a, an abandoned office block in the city centre that has been occupied six days previously to create an emergency homeless shelter. Um, we've just come from four different sites that have been evicted over the last two years, most of them 20 months ago by the same judge who I understand is holding the hearing this morning. All four of those sites are currently still vacant. Uh, three of them, there's no sign whatsoever of any work being put in to bring them back into use. Um, this shows very much how Irish law is weighed completely towards property holders and not at all towards people's needs. All of those buildings uh, were suitable for people to live in. All of them did have people uh, to live in them. Uh, they were evicted under injunctions, which are normally understood to be kind of emergency measures. And yet, as we've seen 20 months later, all of them are still lying vacant. So it's the morning of the Apollo House uh, Court injunction hearing. And we're doing a tour of some of the previous buildings that have been occupied in Dublin over the last two years and that have been evicted via injunction. Uh, this is a fourth stop. Um, this, in fact, is the, the previous attempt to occupy a building specifically with the purpose of providing emergency accommodation for the homeless. Uh, this building was called the Bolt, um, and this happened in the summer of 2015. As you can see, as with all the other uh, three previous stops, the building is, is obviously lying vacant at the moment. It's completely boarded up. And in fact, when you go in and you have a close look, uh, it turns out the court injunction ordering the eviction is actually attached to the wall still. That's been up there since uh, July 2015. You can see that. Uh, it's before Mr. Justice Gilligan. Again, I'm pretty sure Gilligan is the judge who's going to be hearing the Apollo House eviction this morning, which is starting just about now. Uh, there is a fifth one I could stop, which is barricade in that's about 10 minutes from where I am now by bicycle uh, but I'm actually going to head down to the High Court uh, to catch the start of the Apollo House eviction. For those um, maybe following us outside Ireland who aren't familiar with this have a look at previous posts uh, to the page but basically um, six days ago uh, housing rights activists uh, backed by some celebrities occupied uh, a building in Dublin city centre that's owned by NAMA. NAMA was the bad bank that was set up to uh, take on the uh, bad bets basically of the property speculators. Um, in those six days, 1,500, that's 1,500 people have volunteered uh, to help staff that emergency hostel. There's been so many donations that in fact within two days they had to say they didn't have any space to accept anymore. And the last couple of nights, uh, 35 people have been accommodated there. Um, it's uh, dark here in Dublin. It's the shortest day of the year. Today's the solstice at the moment. Um, and one of the consistent features of the injunctions we've seen around these evictions have been the building owners claiming they have health and safety concerns. Um, this happened, that, happened, that was part of the injunction from the Bolt, it was certainly part of the injunction uh, against the uh, prison we've just visited across the road. Have a look at the previous video I posted from there. Um, but I mean, it, it's been a cold night and it really does strike you that whatever the health and safety issues with any of these buildings, and Apollo House is actually a, quite a modern building comparatively, uh, surely the far bigger concerns have to be for people who are otherwise forced to sleep out on the streets in this weather. It's been heard in the High Court. I'm now probably about half a kilometre from the High Court. And the building I'm outside now is the old debtor's prison. Uh, this was occupied over the summer by about 30 people were living here. Uh, again, an injunction was obtained that evicted those people. Uh, again, there's nothing being done with this building since then. There's just, uh, they put some flood lighting in. And again, I'm pretty sure it's the same judge who granted the injunction in this case that will be hearing the Apollo House case in uh, starting in, about, in less than uh, 30 minutes, I think. Um, yep, yeah, as you can see, nothing's happened here really except the addition of uh, signs on the gates. 
in a little over 30 minutes, the High Court, which is about a kilometre from where I am at the moment, will be having an injunction hearing, uh, the result of which could well be the eviction of Apollo House. Uh, Apollo House was opened up six days ago in a Nama building uh, after it was occupied and has been opened up to be used as emergency shelter for uh, homeless people. Uh, at the moment about 35 uh, people are actually staying there each night. Uh, there's been a huge pour outpouring of support for the project and in fact over 1500 people volunteered. But uh, So you might ask what are we doing here? Well. We're just up the road uh, and this building we're looking at now was evicted by, we under, uh, was given an injunction under the same circumstances by, we think, the same judge uh, 20 months ago in April 2015. At the time, there were about 30 people uh, had moved in to this building from a, uh, another occupied complex just down the road at Grange Gorman that we're going to go and have a look at at the moment. As you can see in that 20 months, uh, I was going to say nothing has been done. That's not quite true. What they've actually done is they've barricaded it to make it harder to get into. And more recently, that uh, fence with the uh, green stuff has been put on it, presumably to stop people actually being able to uh, sleep outside, but in the front gardens or to make it more difficult. Um, so Dublin at the moment is suffering the worst housing crisis it ever, probably ever has, certainly the worst one since maybe the uh, turn of the century, uh, when the city was famous for its tenements and having a life expectancy that was at that time uh, similar to that in Calcutta. Um, back then and also now though, it was also a city with a lot of very rich people. There's something like 36,000 millionaires currently living in Dublin. That's not a mistake, 36,000. Um, and that's part of the reason we're having a housing crisis of the nature we're having, where there's about 20,000 empty houses, because the situation, what we were seeing is this situation where rents have been escalating, uh, mortgages have been shooting up as well. There's lots of people with debt they can't pay back. Um, and in that sort of situation, how do you keep people paying rents and how do you keep them paying mortgages that are really, really, you know, taking a huge percentage of their salary? Well, you just make sure that uh, there's a huge amount of fear and that fear is about homelessness. Yes. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of sort of things about the government not being efficient in solving this problem, but really, in fact, it's a problem that suits them. OK, so... We've now come about 200 metres down the road to what used to be the Grange Gorman complex. This was first evicted in May 2015, again by the same judge, uh, and again evicted about six months ago. Um, now, if you are familiar with it, you'll know that what we are looking at now used to be a row of houses, uh, and there was a you know, there were people living in these houses and around the corner. So the only visible work that's been done on this site, first evicted 20 months ago, had been to destroy all the habitable buildings on it. Uh, it's also the case they've been knocked down around the corner. Eventually, this is supposed to be turned into student accommodation. Um, we'll be back down at this. Uh, but as I said, at the moment, all that we've seen here is the complete destruction of everything that was habitable and that people could actually live in. Uh, so I'm going to head down towards the High Court now. Uh, just this brief update though from, as I said, two previous sites evicted, first evicted 20 months ago. Uh, they were housing about 30 people at the time. Uh, and today we're going to hear the eviction of the injunction, which could result in the eviction of Apollo House, which is providing emergency accommodation for about 35 people uh, that were stopped in six days ago.